Hey guys, Portia here, and today I wanted to bring you a really quick video. So I got a comment from Paulina, and she goes, how do you get font to download on Canva? Well, I've actually gotten that question before, but Paulina, I could actually show you better than I can tell you, and hopefully this will help anybody else out there who was just wondering. So anywho, let me show you guys how I upload fonts to Canva. So all I did was just picked a project that I had done previously, and this one is pretty font heavy. So say for instance, we just click into that image and then I go to text and I could add something new there. Or I can just click on what I already have and I'll go up here to the name of the font. And if we go down at the bottom here, you'll see something that says upload a font. This will enable you to upload a font. So let's do this. I'm gonna go to thefont.com and we're gonna download a font so that you can see the entire process. So this one is cute here. I love little uh, curly cues and scripts that are, you know, really, really cute. And hey, since it's Valentine's Day, let's do magic heart. So I'm just gonna hit download right here and it does download as a zip file and canva does not like zip files so i'm going to go ahead and go to my downloads uh, folder and in here you'll see magic heart which is the name of the font we just got i'm going to go ahead and open that up and we have a few options in here and i always look for um open type font file um i really don't know the difference between all these fonts you guys i'm gonna be honest but i find the one that works for me and i go with it so what i'm gonna do is just highlight the first one because sometimes you'll say see, see like true type font and different things like that and i'm gonna slide that over into downloads so if i click back in my downloads now the font is there and now it's recognizable by canva like i told you canva doesn't like the zip file but it likes when you pull it out of the folder so to speak don't know the exact verbiage and language and all that good stuff but i'll get it together y'all all right so what we're gonna do now is go back to our project here and now we go back to upload a font and I'm gonna click on upload a font again. And we have magic heart, personal, blah, blah, blah. And I'm gonna hit open on there. And then yes, upload it anyways. And we're waiting. All right, cool. So what was that called, magic heart something? So if we scroll down to the M's, we should see it, it's here. Magic hearts, blah, blah, blah cool beans and so remember here where I just added that font but we didn't change anything let's change this to the new one oopsie go back up to the font and if we click in magic it's right here so now we change this add a subheading you know example to our font that we just got from defont.com. So it's one of my favorite places to get um, fonts. So Paulina, I hope that helped, hun. And anybody else out there who was wondering how you upload fo uh, fonts to Canva, this would be how. But yeah, guys, if you got any questions, concerns, emotional outbursts, let me know. If you found this video helpful, can you go ahead and give it a thumbs up? But as always, guys, until next time, peace.